In this video, let's take a look at the snack bar component from Material UI. Snack bars provide brief notifications and are also known as toast notifications. As per the material guidelines, snack bars inform users of a process that an app has performed or will perform. They appear temporarily towards the bottom of the screen. They shouldn't interrupt the user experience and they don't require user input to disappear. Let's understand the usage with an example. Let's begin by creating a new file in the components folder. MUI snackbar.tsx. Within the file, I'm going to create a new component. To add a snack bar, we need the snack bar component from Material UI. Let's import it at the top. The snack bar also needs a trigger element. For that, let's use a button. Now in the JSX, replace the div tag with a React fragment. Next, add the button component. So button and the text is submit. Below the button, we add the snack bar. On this component, we specify the text to be displayed using the message prop. Let's set it to form submitted successfully. We also specify an auto hide duration prop for the toast notification to close automatically. Auto hide duration and let's set it to 4000 milliseconds or 4 seconds. Finally, we need to control the visibility of this component using the open and on close prop. For that, let's maintain a state variable. So at the top, import use state from react and within the component, create a variable using use state. Let's call it open, set open and the initial value is false. On click of the submit button, we set open to true. So call set open passing in true. On the snack bar, we assign open value to a prop called open. Next, we also handle the on close event. This is going to be equal to handle close. Let's define the function. Const handle close is going to be equal to an arrow function. And the function will have two parameters. First is the event of type react.synthetic event or just event, which is not needed for the function. The second parameter is reason, which is populated based on the event that triggers on close. And this is of type string. Now one of the reasons for on close to be fired is that the user clicked away. In that case, we don't do anything. So if reason is equal to click away, we simply return. For any other scenario, we close the snack bar. So call set open passing in false. Let's now include this component in app component. And test it out. Click on submit. And we see the toast notification form submitted successfully. It automatically disappears after 4 seconds. If you would like to change the placement, you can do so using the anchor origin prop. So anchor origin is going to be equal to an object. Let's set vertical, bottom, horizontal, center. If we head to the browser, you can see the snack bar now opens at the bottom center. 
You can change the vertical alignment to top or center and the horizontal alignment to left or right. Bottom placement is the most common you'll see. Now what we have here is a default snack bar. You can customize this with any component. For our example, let's use the alert component from the previous video. Now this might seem a little confusing, but the code is always present in the docs and you can slowly understand it. First, import alert and alert props from Material UI. Next, import the forward ref function from React. Now we define our custom snackbar alert component. Const snackbar alert and this is going to be equal to forward ref. Here we specify the generic type as HTML div element, comma alert props. To forward ref, we pass in a function. And this is going to be snackbar alert, which receives props and ref as parameters. And we are going to return the alert component with a custom elevation, ref set to ref, and we spread the remaining props. Now we can comment out the existing snack bar and add the custom snack bar. So snack bar open is going to be equal to the open state variable. Auto height duration, let's set it to six seconds. On close is going to call handle close and within the opening and closing tags we call our custom snack bar alert where the text is form submitted successfully but we also specify on close is equal to handle close again and severity is equal to success. If you now save the file and head back to the browser, click on submit, you can see the custom snack bar alert component being displayed. You can change any of the props like severity or variant on the alert component and all of them will work just fine. But this is pretty much about the snack bar component from Material UI. Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next video.